uh, minister here to discuss that how in this changing world that artificial intelligence and information technology can be taken further to in the partnership with India and other countries. Sweden, our leadership for industry transition, what is called Lead IT uh, initiative, has been joined by 18 nations and 19 major global companies, and it has clearly borne fruit in the last few years. More than 260 Swedish companies are in India working in innovation, in construction, in defense, and in clean technology. Saab, I believe, is going to set up a manufacturing facility in India. India and Iceland are working closely on harnessing geothermal energy in Ladakh and Himachal Pradesh. Similar projects are being planned for Northeast India. Efforts are on to establish a center for excellence in cold and warm water fisheries. Uh, we have also forged strong cooperation with Norway to harness the potential of the blue economy, wind, and geothermal energy, as also polar studies, green shipping, water management, space, and health. With the Baltic nations, we have regular official level interactions. Uh, and we are seeking to explore new avenues for stronger cooperation in e-governance, in cyberspace, in the Internet of Things, uh, startups, defense technology, supply chain, and logistics. There is clearly, however, much more work. With Sweden, our leadership for industry transition, what is called Lead IT uh, initiative, has been joined by 18 nations and 19 major global companies. During the day that we will also be focusing the what are the potential areas of the cooperation between India and Nordic Baltic countries. That is the key things that to be discussed here today. Uh, most importantly, how can the two regions collaborate to a skill development initiatives uh, to enable the AI and IT for all. So these are the crucial areas for the discussion today.